Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm having such a great time filming so many videos at the moment. Basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to film a video every day to give you a little bit of project just to get crafting and doing DIYs and stuff throughout the time that we're all staying at home. I hope you are staying at home, staying safe, staying healthy as much as you possibly can, not only for you, but for others as well. So yeah, I am making some loads of DIY products. Actually, every single Day, I'm trying to come back to you and bring you something a little bit different whether it's a squishy a plushy a charm something a little bit different like my vending machine yesterday just trying to switch it up a little bit and give you a little bit of cuteness in your life through these testing times all of my videos are obviously family friendly you can do them at any age I'm an adult doing these so do not be afraid if you are an adult to click that subscribe button still we all love cute stuff here it doesn't matter how old how young you are um yeah it's just all about the cute stuff here so anyway today's video i made this little squishy marshmallow out of a dish sponge basically i want to be able to bring you some more kind of um, materials that anyone else must you know already have um in their home to save you going out and feeling like you need to buy stuff that sort of stuff we want to stay in as much as possible so yeah i made this out of a dish sponge today and i'm going to share with you how i did that so this is the dish sponge that i'm going to be using for today's um diy it does have a scouring pad on one of the sides so what i did was i just pulled that off set it aside and i'm just going to use that to clean up some stuff in my garden i then cut the sponge in half and using this glue this by the way is the best glue for squishy making i've ever tried i've been saying it so often in my recent videos but i used that glue to stick the two halves of the sponge together once i had that kind of stuck i left it for around about five minutes and then started cutting away at the foam making it into a cylinder shape smoothing out as much as possible so that i could get it nice and smooth the sponge on this sponge was really staticky so it kept sticking to my scissors as you can see there so i kept having to wipe it off to get it off of them rather than it just falling off but other than that i didn't really notice any difference between this and normal kind of you know foam that i use anyway i did find that it split open a little bit towards the ends when i cut it down so i just went in and glued those together holding them down to secure and then just left it for around about 10 minutes just so that could sit and just really grab hold once it did, I inserted a piece of wire into the bottom. I usually use a barbecue skewer or a cocktail stick, but I can't find my packet at the moment. So like I said, I just took some craft wire, bent it in half, and then stuck it through the little marshmallow. Once that was done, I then started layering my puffy paint. So this is a puffy paint mixture that I mixed using white puffy paint, a little bit of acrylic, and some PVA, mixed it all together in a little bowl, and then painted it on. These are all of the layers when wet and when dry. When it dries, it kind of like brings back the holes a little bit more. So that's when you need to put on another layer. And you want to keep building it up until basically you get to layer four when there's no holes left in the kind of foamy outsideness of it. So once you're done, you then want to remove whatever you had stuck in the marshmallow to keep it upright when painting. And in my case, that was the craft wire. I had the hole and that was why I decided to put a chocolate drip on that side. To be honest, I probably would have liked to put it on the other side because that side was a little bit more lumpy bumpy where I hadn't smoothed it outright. But because I had the hole on this side, it makes more sense to just do the drippy chocolateness on this side so I could cover that at the same time. So I did like the wavy kind of drip pattern all the way around the outside. I then went in and filled in all of the top using the tulip fabric paint in the color brown by the slick one as this looks really like lifelike chocolate. Well, at least I think so. And this is what I always use for like my drizzle, my kind of chocolate drips, all of that. I just think this is the best color for it. I then used a black puffy paint and then I did a face so I did the eyes and then a little cute little mouth in between. I decided to do an open mouth to make it nice and happy. I was going to do like a Smiko Garashi just like line but I decided on the open mouth to make it as happy as possible. Once I had all the black I then left that to dry. I put it in front of a little fan just to speed that up. And then I went back in and I painted the tongue on using a light pink and I painted some light pink blush either side of the eyes as well. To add highlight to the eyes, I just added a dot of white puffy paint to each of them in the top right hand corner. 
So I actually just dropped it on my desk here, but once all of the face and everything like that is completely dry, as you can see here, my squishy is then complete. So I did the mouth and the blush in a really, really pale pink. I'm not sure if you can see it on my camera because my camera is super bright with all my lighting at the moment. So yeah, not sure if you can see it, but it's a really, really nice pale pink in person and it looks so cute. So I have actually made a bunch of marshmallow DIYs before. I think about three. I've definitely made a plush keychain. I've made some like less kind of detailed ones than this in some packaging so if you want to see that i'll leave those videos down in the um description down below so i'll try and put all my marshmallow squishies and diys and that sort of stuff down there just in case you are interested but i'm really really happy with how this has come out it's turned out nice and chunky since you know sticking those two pieces of foam together i have got all of the off cuts still just hanging around on my desk i always save them to make paper squishies so let's just give it a squish test shall we I'm taking forever to get to the point. Look at this. It's nice and slow due to all those layers that I put on. I think this one here, I did four layers on. I'll be able to look back when I edit the footage. If you find it does get a little bit too slow, what you can do is just go in at the bottom or at the back or something. Just stab some holes in it. In the little marshmallow. Stab some holes and that will allow the air to get back in and out just really, really well. <laughs> nice and flowy you know it will increase the rising time so i love a super slow squishy anyway i just think it's so satisfying but i don't like it to take up my whole day rising back you know so i like to have a happy medium so you just go in with a few little kind of stabby little dots as you just seen there that works out well so the top of this is actually painted with the tulip slick paint in the color brown this is the one i always use for chocolate because it looks so chocolatey at this point i am really craving chocolate so yeah i think that looks really nice looks quite delicious i'm not gonna lie so anyway i hope you have enjoyed today's video if you did please do give it a thumbs up it really does help me to know what type of videos to bring you i am asking for people to like the videos that they like you know just so that i know what you want to see coming forward the ones with the most likes i'll do more of so yeah hopefully you have a great day and i will see you very soon for another video Bye!